Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be looking at Matic. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. Okay, so let's talk about what we've got going on here. So you know, potentially we've come down into the support box that we were previously talking about. We managed to find support here, right in that golden pocket between that 99 cent and that 9680. You know, it did come a little bit deeper here towards that 702, but for the most part, we've come into here and we started to move away. So now what I'm looking for is this move to the downside, we can potentially count in two ways. We can either just count this as a three wave structure by dividing it in the middle, we basically, this is an ABC, we get a connector wave, or it would rather be a WXY at that point. Or, you know, alternatively, we could look at this as a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, and then five to the downside. So this is the two ways that we can look at it. If we do have a five wave move down, it would indicate that we're potentially going to get a continuation to the down. This is also possible to get a continuation in the C wave for this move, though, um, it wouldn't be necessary if we are looking at it just as an ABC correction to the downside. Potentially this as a one-to-one -one move, depending on how high we come here, could potentially look to push us down towards this 77 cent range if we come up towards that 618. If we don't push up that high, potentially it could actually look to push us lower than that zone. So the the bullish potential we're looking for here is is solely based on managing to actually hold above the 74 72 range if we fail to do so we can we can basically write off any potential of looking at this as extending to the upside we could be looking you know we at the moment we're looking for that potential to actually come back to come up in a bigger wave and basically what we're looking for, if we are looking for that bullish potential, is either the possibility of making a move up towards this one-to-one -one area, this $1.97, or potentially if it's going to become a bigger impulsive structure, potentially looking for this 1618 up here, where this would then become a one-two, we'd get a third wave up into here, fourth and then a fifth. And then potentially this whole move from the beginning would then turn into a bigger one-two, and then basically this would all be within a third wave if we do get this as a bigger five wave move to the upside. Though we don't have any confirmation of that and we need to also just bear in mind that from the back here, potentially we could also just look at this as a bigger ABC pattern which could look to actually be completed. And then we could actually look to break down and take this low. So that is the, the two options that I'm sort of looking at. You know, potentially we can still find support above this and look to push up. And yeah, for as long as we hold the 74, 72, you know, potentially we do still have that upside to come. Um, Though we can't write off, like I said, that possibility of looking to break down. So this is the key zone that I'm looking for at the moment. We're going to go into the subwave counts of this move to the upside uh, in, in a little bit. But basically, this is going to be a key rejection zone. So this zone from this 121.58 all the way up to sort of this 140.63, that would be that 786. So we need to be cautious. We need to get back above this forty one dollar uh, forty sixty three and back above this high before we can get too complacent about this count because this could actually look to extend to the downside. So like I said, you know, potentially if we're looking at this as a three wave move down, then we could still see a three wave move to the upside followed by a continuation to the downside in the C wave. So like I said, it depends how high we come here. Potentially we could actually look to retest this B wave location here. You know, that would potentially either be on that 618, which would be this $1.2910, or alternatively, you know, we could only may maybe manage this 50%, uh, which would also be on the top of this channel. So this channel is just, um. It's a, a channel that I've drawn off some lows back here. Basically, if I come back, I'll show to the daily. I can show you quickly. Just based off of these lows and projected to the top of this move here. So, I mean, it is slightly lower down. There we go. Uh, yeah, so, you know, basically what I'm looking for here is we did manage to break out of this channel and then we've, we've come back into it. I want to see if we get a rejection off of this and then we see to look to actually continue further down. So 50%, this $1.2158 would actually be um, pretty much on that zone, though we have pretty much touched it so i am looking out for that possibility for a rejection so the other way that we're looking at this move um 
is the potential that we could actually uh, have a five wave move here. And like I said, we look at the slightly different diagonal for one, two, then all of this becomes a third wave, fourth and a fifth wave to the downside. If that's the case, then potentially we could be setting up for either a ABC pattern. If we, um, if we just have a three wave drop, and uh, if we actually look to push down deeper towards this 57, 55, we could still see that possibility play out for one, two, three, four, and then a five to the downside. So we need to just uh, be aware that that is still on the cards here. Really, until we take this high again, we need to just be a little bit cautious. And what I would want to see here, if we are looking for this as a um, B wave, is potentially coming up towards this 50% to this um 786 which is the higher range and this 140 to this 121 58 obviously we've got a golden pocket in the middle here this 131 to this uh, 129 area and uh yeah we want to see how we react there because at the moment this move to the upside is just a three wave structure so we're going to discuss um some more about this uh, potential that we could see here. it is even if we do get five wave structure here we'd need to be cautious because this could do something like this where we form an additional fourth and a fifth then potentially we come back in a three wave move, maybe not as low as that, but basically something like this, you know, retest this zone here and then actually look to push up for a C wave. And this could still be within the structure. So that's why it's important. If we're looking for bullish um, sentiment within this, we need to get back above this 156.81. Otherwise, we could actually start to break down within this and potentially look for these lower prices. So... Within this, the key zone, if we are looking at um, at that bullish potential, is basically maintaining this 87.41. Once we start to lose this zone, it becomes more likely that this is actually going to invalidate and we're going to look to take out the 74.72. So, you know, there is potential, like I said, we could start to move away from here and be, form a bigger structure to the upside. But we need to be, be aware that, you know, this is a big zone um, that we've been rejected off of. And we need to see whether we actually continue to get rejected from this point. We've lost this uh, little zone of support that we had here. You know, it's going to be interesting to see whether we get a retest of this and then we get a rejection or whether we actually, um, you know, manage to break back above it and then look to to sort of carry on this move, you know, break back on top of this channel, potentially retest this zone of support and then look to actually move up. Uh, okay, so let's get into the smaller subwave count. So if we were looking for that bullish potential from this area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just remove all of this off of this. So what we'd be looking for is something like this. So there's two ways that I'm currently looking at the at the chart here. We haven't reached that 1618 yet, um, but you know, technically speaking, we don't really have to. We could be, we could even form something like a diagonal here where this becomes a one, two, three, four, and then we get a bigger fifth wave here to the upside. Um, but we don't have that structure at the moment. So, what we're looking at for within here is basically I'm counting this at the moment as a one, two, three up into here, four, and then fifth wave to the upside. So I think we're within this um, circled fifth wave. Uh, there is potentially one more wave to the upside here. And uh, what I'd be looking for is basically looking at this move, something like this, where we're going to get one more push to the upside here. Depending on how high we go, potentially we could look to target out um, towards the zone here of the 122.66 to this 120.98. If, however, we do move up higher and we do move up towards this 124.21, potentially what we could then have is, you know, this could have been just a bit of an extension within this wave. And then we would be looking potentially for um, this additional fourth wave to come in. So if we do actually look to move up into this area, what I want to see is whether we get another three wave move down here towards this 114 to this 108. If we do move into this zone and find support, then potentially, you know, we could be looking at an additional fifth wave to the upside here, which could look to take us, depending on how high exactly we come here, could look to take us up towards this $1.2766 to this $1.3319. So we also need to be, be aware, you know, there could be further extension within these waves. I'm just counting it simply here. You know, this could be a 1, 2. For instance, this could be a 1, 2 in here. 
and then potentially we have another one two here and this becomes another one two and then it looks to blast off and really start to get moving but um basically if we lose this 109 16 that would invalidate that potential of any kind of an extension here but until we do we need to bear in just be aware you know these things do happen and we can start to see some extension playing out here so this uh, fourth wave for as long as we hold it you know potentially we could see this play out as a one come back as a two get a three four and a five and then we've got some further extension within these waves there's nothing really indicating it at the moment um, but yeah it can happen so keep an eye on that the alternative way that i'm looking at this is you know if we if we fail to move above this 124 21 and we just actually complete this move here um to the upside as a one two three four and a five what i'm looking out for is that potential to actually drop down deeper here towards this orange box area which would be this 10879 to this 102 uh, 87 if we do move down here in a three wave move you know that could potentially set us up for this as a one two and this is a one two and then basically we could look for that bigger push to the upside from this orange box area um though invalidation would come by actually breaking down past this 9866 and it becomes less um probable once we start to break through this 10287 so this is something that can still happen here we could still look to see some extension here where this becomes a one two one two and then we get a bigger move to the upside um but until we actually form uh, some additional f structure here you know all we have is a three wave move so we need to be careful this could just be basically a three wave move up and then we look to continue to the downside um, with one of those other options I was talking about uh, where we actually looking for this rejection potentially in this 121.58 to this 140.63 so you know if we just move up into this channel and then start to reject deeper potentially we could either look to actually come down much lower here towards a 77 72 or alternatively what i'd be looking out for is the potential to actually come back maybe retest this um this channel line here depending on how long this takes this could actually drop us into that orange box area but you know looking to see if we get a retest of this and then look to move away from there and then that, like I said, would become a one, two, one, two. Um, but yeah, and as long as we hold this fourth wave area here, you know, potentially we could still see some further extension, which could look to push us up past this 124, 21 zone. Um, in which case then, you know, we'd start looking for this potential fourth wave to play out here. Um, you know, it, it can it can play out from here. There's nothing saying it has to reach this one three one six one eight rather. Uh, but you know it is a common area that we look for that third wave so we'd have to see if we if we do complete here as long as we don't break this wave one high you know technically speaking we could have a three wave move down here which doesn't cross this and then still have that fifth wave up so we'll have to keep an eye on it um I'd it would be much neater if we went to this 1618 though so just uh yeah we've got to see if this actually extends out a bit here and moves up into these zones and then we'd look for that fourth and that fifth wave to the upside so this basically these bullish potentials stay alive as long as we're above this 09866 and this 09426 uh, if we start to lose those zones you know then then this uh, is looking a lot like just a corrective connecting wave here as a B. And then we're actually going to look to sell off and continue to the downside. So like I said, you know, if we're looking for this bigger bullish option as well as a one and a two, we really want to hold this uh, 8741. Once we start to lose that zone, then it starts to, um, it starts to become less probable. We're going to see that continuation to the upside so you know if we i'm going to come back out onto the the atar now um if we do start to break down deeper you know potentially we could be looking at um something like this playing out you know if we do start to start to progress down in a bigger five wave structure here you know either this could become a one two three four and a five and we break down and we're looking actually to complete a bigger c wave to the downside or alternatively you know within this whole move here um, this could be an A wave, we form that bigger B wave, and then we actually look to um, push up from that point, which would actually look to potentially take us back down into the zone of the 6971 to this 44, 30, 
four range. So if we do start to um, reject deeper here, potentially this is a zone I'd be looking to see if we actually manage to find support in. You know, we potentially look for that move down into here where we could actually argue that potentially this whole move here is a corrective structure. And then we could look to actually push to the upside from there. Um, but we'd also have to just be careful, you know, this could just be a bigger move to the downside where we form a five wave structure down here, reject again and form a zigzag. And instead of it being an ABC pattern, you know, it's a W, X and a Y to the downside. And we actually look to push down deeper towards that zone of, uh, let me just throw this back on, the zone of uh, 1411. So that would be a potential zone we could actually look to still revisit um, you know, until we until we get more structure suggesting that, you know, we're going to actually be looking to take out this high point here of this $2.91. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Why not come check it out? It is free to join. Um, you know. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for PrimeXBT and Bybit down in the description. Check them out for yourselves. They are great exchanges. We use them regularly. Using the affiliate link does help support the channel, and we do appreciate it. Everyone, thank you for your support and watching the video, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.